Miss Young MC, on my mind, girl, that's how we ride it Gratitude is in the way, it's just how we be flying Young MC, triple three, what we do is send it Capricorn, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Progressed Signs. Welcome back to the channel, MC333 here. Appreciate all the feedback. Um, don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. So for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, we're gonna do traditional horse respect for you to get, the, get some clarity on the cur current circumstance situation within your life during the present moment and or in your future. So like I said, if you're a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or progress sign this is for you you can apply it to any other uh, planetary aspects that are in alignment to the zodiac sign of capricorn as well if you know how to do that <clears throat> maybe we'll make a video on that sooner or later we start with our handy dandy thoth decks we give this a shuffle capricorn hope all my capricorns out there doing well doing fond energy is good all that kind of stuff you're going to tap into the energy of the collective of my Capricorns. See if you can get some clarity on this current situation. Moving forward. All that good stuff. Make sure you comment below. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'd like to know where you guys are tuning in from as it is nice to see how, you know, the progress progression of this channel and the fact that we have the whole of the collective watching, so it's cool to know where you guys are tuning in from. 1,000%. 333%. We're going to get straight into it, starting with this little shuffle here, Capricorn. Make it easy on my handy dandy standy. Make sure you guys tune in and hit that notification bell for your Capricorn readings every Saturday. Daily up uh, subscribe for daily uploads. Make sure you guys are checking in on your sun, moon, and ascendant sign as you can get a more holistic picture of what's going on in this current moment and your current situation and how to move forward. All right. Bottom of the deck, we got the five, <clears throat> five of cups. Some of your Capricorns, maybe an underlying story, possible disappointment, possible change currently for some of you guys before we un uh, unload the spread right here. But that's for some of you. Starting off, we do have the five of swords. <clears throat> so that five of cups in this change could be a significant underlying story for the collective Capricorns right now. As we do start with the five of swords, then you got the queen of swords right here. Starting off this reading with some sword energy. Boom, Empress. Very, very nice. With Empress energy. Major Arcanas, Prince of Discs, position four. Position five, it's the Six of Cups. Pleasure. Prince of Wands, position six. Seven of Wands. Capricorn for the outcome card right here. So as I was saying, this Five of Cups energy could be a significant possible undergoing change right now within the circumstance or situation or the current circumstance situation you're in could be uh, bringing forth some sort of change right now. Um, Capricorn may be dealing with change of passion, change of emotional standpoint. We're going to pull a mystery card, Capricorn, and uh, the mystery card is kind of going to give us a confirmation near the end of the reading. We are pulling from uh, the traditional Rider White tarot deck. It's our mystery cards. It's a fresh Rider White right here. So y'all get the fresh pulls. It's a handy dandy shuffle right here to the side. See what's going on with this mystery card right here before we get into these energies. Okay. 
pull this top part off right here. Boom. Set that aside. As our mystery card, put this deck to the side real quick. Uh, we are going to get the handy dandy tourmaline right here. Shout out to the tourmaline. And we'll keep it right on our mystery card. So Capricorn, let's see what we got here. We have some swords energy, right? Within the present moment and the past position. First two positions. We got some earth energy. We do have some cups. We do have some wands. Some air, some earth, some fire, and a little bit of water and a major arcana. So you got some pretty well-balanced cards here, Capricorn, off the bat. Which could be significant. You could be trying to balance things in a new way based upon this change for some of you guys' underlining story, right? Kind of finding your finding your balance with certain things, right? That was a Martian card as well. So you can be finding balance with how you take action with certain things right now based upon this change you may be undergoing or may want to undergo, right? Within the circumstance, but within the past position right here, card one, Venus card, Aquarius, Air, right? The Five of Swords. You see, I feel like this Five of Swords right here could have been, uh, I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking an argument, um, conflict, right? This could be mental conflict or a uh, conflict within a certain situation or circumstance that you're in that's relating to the external, right? This is a Venus card. This could be a relationship. This could be butting heads, right? With a certain individual, with a certain energy, um, possibly a certain thing, right? Um, external factor to where it may be in conflict with how we know with how you feel towards the situation, with how you think towards the situation, right? could feel like you may, you, may, you know, something that you can't overcome mentally or, you know, find your way, you know, through proper proper analyzation and, and thinking and communication, right? So you couldn't feel like this defeated energy, like how come I, you know, I need to, you know, learn how to communicate or better get my communication a little bit better at the moment. Find a little ground basis, right? Based upon this past conflict, it could be like a learning scenario that you're learning from from the past. But the present position here within card two, right? Queen of Swords. I feel like, see, if for some, if it, like, you know, a circumstance, like I can say a scenario, um, let's say an argument, for example, right? And currently, with this Queen of Swords, it's like overcoming that argument, you having your sword, kind of, or, you know, like, and, and possibly... Possibly moving forward within your communication, like initi like kind of uh, putting forth or putting out your words, you know, your your intellect, the way you think, right, towards certain things. But because this is the queen, it's more of like a feminine energy. So I feel like this is like you being receptive towards other people's communication. Like, you know, you may be falling back from, you know, these arguments and things of that nature, trying to understand like how to receive um, and perceive others' ways of communication, right? finding your balance and, and understanding how to communicate with other people within your surroundings, possibly. Um, I'm getting Capricorn. You know, the hidden the hidden influence here, we have this Empress card. You know, this could be, like I said before, with this Venus connection, this could be a relationship, right? Um, this could be understanding how to receive others' as communication and, you know, understanding their perspectives, right? This influence could be, you know, a child, a feminine energy. It could be a kid as well for some, you know, that you may have. Within the third position, it is your environment as well, you know. Um, numerology three, you know, Gemini energy, union, um, possible birth. And this could be why you may be, you know, trying to receive and understand others' perspectives currently for some of you guys out there, Capricorn. You know, because I feel like this position four obstacles to overcome right you know it could be a union between you know trying to move forward and trying to give birth to something new right which could be i feel like this possible change for you guys whether it's a change of mindset a change of thinking emotional change right like adaptivity and this empress is kind of like the unified force that's the influence like you know um 
moving forward with like for example relationships like moving forward into relationship going the next level going to another level right going to going beyond just relating between you two and you know starting to build or wanting to come together more as a uh, unified couple right like a family type energy you know this could be tapping into creativity as well if it's you know it's some it may not be a relationship for some and this could be a new sense of creativity and understanding how to receive and maneuver for yourself in order to you know position yourself into better certain uh, circumstances and situations to where you can understand and receive other people's perspectives to where you can develop this uh you can kind of learn from it and develop this wisdom right because that's like the underlying influence it's like you're learning right now right learning how to adjust and the obstacle to overcome with the prince of disc you know you may be as a capricorn you know you may maybe used to moving towards your status right the disc is earth energy your energy right and the prince is like because the king is like the ruler the prince is like the sun right so it's like what you gave birth to as a as a practical manner and you know as a business and career for example you know capricorn rules the 10th house in astrology status right so you know you could have been doing something you know that you that you started or that you were into based upon a career or whatever the case may be and you know moving forward with that there may be a change here that you may need to undergo there may be a change of status currently right and you're, it, it's an understanding within this change of status possibly you know looking into something new um doing something new but it's overcoming you know something that you may have been doing for what for a little while um something that you've gave birth to and you know you kind of been been doing because this is earth energy this could be a thought form as well like a way of thinking you know if it's not external it could be internal as in like a thought form and practical ways of thinking you know you could maybe you're too practical right now maybe you need to be more adaptable right you need to learn how to see things from other people's perspectives that way you can develop this wisdom and kind of move forward in unity with your circumstances and you know whatever circumstance you're in like i always say this is not just a love reading it's not just a business reading it's a life reading right so this is something that you personally kind of need to overcome and, and, you know, it could be being too practical, right, among situations. And you may need to be a little bit more receptive with this feminine energy, understanding how to receive, like understanding in general, right, when it's, when it's in dealing with conversation because we have some swords energy here, communication, intellect, right, mentality, mind frame. very interesting Capricorn you know whatever this is that you may need to overcome whether it's a new status um new way of thinking you know being less practical it's important to be able to, to tap into your divine energy right here your, you know divine spark and this is going to allow a bit more creativity and a, li a little bit more out of the box thinking I'm getting for you guys Capricorn it's kind of like breaking the uh, breaking the barrier right earth energies can be sometimes a little too logical right Maybe time to let go a little bit of that logic, you know, a little bit too much of making sense. Sometimes you may need to tap into your emotions, what I'm getting here with this Empress, right? Especially with this position five right here with this pleasure card, six of cups. It may be needing for you to tap into your emotions and get more harmonious within how you feel about certain situations. Like, what is it that you feel? You know, based upon this emotion, maybe you could need, you, you may be knowing that you need to change, you know, the, the Queen of Swords is like, you know, you get a lot of air energy, so you may you may know you need to change in certain ways, right? For some of you guys, you may know you need to do something different. You know, you know you need to be a little bit less practical, right? Position five with the six of cups. Oh, this perspective. You know, position five, five alone in numerology deals with emotion, right? Six. Is harmony of the emotions and I think the other perspective whether it's a circumstance situation relationship right I think they want you know you you may want this as well you know whatever your what the circumstance is other people other places other things right they may want this to be pleasurable they may want you to have more harmony within your emotional you know uh, receptivity I'm getting It's, it's, it's expanding emotions. It's learning how to, you know, communicate emotionally. It's learning emotional intelligence, for, not just for yourself, but for the external influence, right? For the other, I'm feeling for you guys, Capricorn. 
that way you can get like develop some of this harmony and tap into some of this empress energy right this is the hidden influence so you know a family may be on your mind as well like you know beneath like subconscious and you know maybe aware of it like you know i want a family and this may be initiating that change like i think it's time for me to step it up i think it's time for me to level up i think it's time for me to kind of stabilize <laughs> this um, situation right in order for you guys to kind of move forward in union in order for you to kind of tap into this pleasure right but it's there you know and whether it's with others they may see this or want this pleasure as well like they know that it's possible the possibility is there to have this harmony right but the change is necessary especially with this card in the past and the queen of swords you know understanding being receptive yes receptivity guys big big on that big on that you know capricorn is ruled by saturn right you know sometimes it may be too practical sometimes it may be too ruled by status right sometimes you may and you may know that capricorn right you may know that and you may not like to shift or change within your status or whatever you're dealing like your dealings right and i think this possible family type situation or unity is kind of asking for that change it's asking for that adjustment right it's asking for that rec uh, receptivity because the best path to take right here is the prince of wands it's it's integral action right not just taking action based upon status not just taking action based upon your career right it's moving with integrity because you understand how to be receptive and how to develop your sense of status right the prince is you know kind of like like i said the kings you know it's like your ruler the prince is like your son so it's like giving birth to a new way of action right a new way of developing a new way of motivation right that's that that's different that and it's based upon this wisdom right here it's based upon this unity so because you're seeing this unified change and this harmony that's that's a possibility and you're kind of moving different you're taking different you're taking action in a different way right you're moving forward differently now but this is an action card and it's asking you to move forward in a different way with integrity with receptivity right with harmony within your, your communication right harmony within the mentality <clears throat> you know what mindsets do you need to develop in order to move forward with integrity right in order to take the right action so you can really see this pleasure right you can really unify this this situation be a part of it give birth to a new right whether you know even if it's not a relationship birth to a new idea birth to a new creative spark birth to a new you know um a new career a new business that's what this card is saying right here. The outcome, another fire card. Seven of Wands, right? Valor. You see the seven. You see when you when when you take integral action based upon this path here, Capricorn, you're going to start to see, right, all the other and all the new ways that you could take action. You know what I'm saying? Like all the new ways that this change has brought forth based upon this unity, right? It's like you've developed the wisdom, so now you're doing things differently, but not just differently, there's many ways of doing it, right? It's like seeing how to take action from the outside in based upon this influence, based upon this pleasure, right? Based upon what you want to give birth to, based upon this family for some, right? This is a Mars card. It's going to be setting the stage for, you know, different things, different ways of taking action. You know, it's maybe like curating yourself curating the mind right with these swords energy it's like preparing your mind to take action in a different way to think differently right I'm getting that for you guys and when you're able to think many ways about a certain situation or how to take action you know that leaves you with a broader view of the situation broader view of things because you're now looking at it from the outside in all right so if i do that this can be the outcome. Oh, if I take this action, it can be the outcome. What if I do this, right? But you see, you're setting the stage for the right things based upon this unity, based upon this empress, based upon this pleasure. What fills your cup? Where, where, is, where is the harmony that you're looking for, right? What are you looking to give birth to and where? 
area of life, right? I feel like this is in your environment with this Empress card. Creativity, family, unity, right? And this may be the other, the external thing, the pleasure, right? Other perspective. So there may be pleasure here, you know, that you can witness externally. But there's something here within your environment or within yourself, in your own mentality and ways of thinking that you got to give birth to, right? And this, that, that's the, the little change here. I think it's receptivity in order to really embrace this harmony and this pleasure, right? So the Seven of Wands is going to allow you to set the stage as an individual unique to you based upon what you've learned and developed the wisdom and want to give birth to based upon this harmony to kind of set the stage in different ways for you to take action. Right. It's having the wisdom to see the outcome of many different situations of, of you, right? So if you did this, what that outcome would be. If you did this, if if that allows you to, you know, be more harmonious, right? So you're kind of seeing your options right now, playing your cards, I feel. Based upon what you want to give birth to and this pleasure. Because you know, you kind of know what's good for you, right? You know what brings you harmony and fulfillment. And you know what you want to give birth to and grow into and develop the, you know, the, the wisdom of. So even personally, my advice too, you know, don't be shy of change. Don't be shy of mental shifts here because it's showing that there is new, new heights, new, new possibility, right? I feel new possibility, especially with this Prince of Dis to overcome is new, new possibility, new ways of taking action that you can develop stability in, right? Because this is like old, I feel like this disc, this way of secure status, right? I feel like you kind of know it's kind of sensing it's old, which is why I feel like <clears throat> you see this pleasure and you're going down this path of the Prince of Wands with integrity. Because you're learning, you're understanding, you know what you, you know, you're trying to give birth to you, you're learning how to be receptive right now. Right? And and then I'm getting for some with this swords energy. You know, sometimes it isn't always best to argue through the situation, right? You know, there's one quote I'm getting right now, but I can't get a grip of it exactly how it how it how it's worded, but it's along the lines of, you know, when it's when it comes to an argument, sometimes nobody wins, right? Because you can get into an argument and yeah, you may have won based upon words, but how do you really feel within the end of the situation, right? You see this, this right here is like cutting the head off of someone else based upon words. It's like using too much words sometimes, you know, going too far with, with communication and you know, five of swords, I feel like, is this argumental energy. Maybe personal conflict. You know, you could be you could be thinking too hard on your being too hard on yourself right now, right? Because you you may want to give birth to this family. You may have some sort of expectation for some of you guys, right? Of how to be and you know, how wise you should be and how to communicate and you know what you want to give birth to in this family type energy and et cetera, right? But personally, don't be too hard on yourself right now because this unity will come. It's all in divine. Trust that it is all in divine timing, right? There's this sense of status overcoming this, this status right here and practical ways of thinking and foundation. That's important right now in order for you to move forward to new, new things, right? New heights, new endeavors. And it's many endeavors. You're going to have options here. You're going to know your options personally a little bit better which is overall positive so stay optimistic and trust how you take action right now be a little bit more receptive don't go too far within arguments and slowly learn to adapt with change like where do you ask yourself certain questions where do you need to change where do you need to develop within your in, within yourself right in order for this empress energy to kind of come to life instead of a, as a hidden influence more conscious right and you can start seeing this pleasure within the external that you kind of that kind of fulfills you Capricorn very interesting 
we're going to tap into this mystery card energy right now, Capricorn, and see what this underlining, not underlining story, but really the confirmation, because we've seen the underlining story earlier with that Five of Cups energy. It looks like emotional change, right? It could be a little uncomfortable in this moment. Nine of, uh, nine of Wands. So we do got this more fire energy here. Right? It's confirmation with this Nine of Wands here. I feel like you're, yeah, you know, it, it, it's related to this outcome card here. It's literally confirmation related to this outcome card. It's learning the meaning and reasoning, that nine energy, that Jupiter energy, that abundance, that wisdom, right? And you're expanding how you take action now. Expanding your vision, right, of yourself, of your status, of your foundation, of your stability, right? almost complete but there's there's ways that you need to expand right there's there may be ways you need to expand and you know new wisdom that needs to be develop, developed in order for this expansion to kind of happen right you may have been through a lot you may have tried a lot of things you may have took action in a lot of ways as well these nine of swords is a is, is a lot of action cards you know you may have done a lot of things but it's saying here i'm getting for you it's time for you to apply what you've been doing within the past and, and learn from it in order for you to expand in a more abundant, kind of fulfilling way for you to be more pleasurable. You know, maybe what you've been doing in the past didn't bring you this pleasure. It brought you this disappointment here with this Five of Swords. You know, you may have tried something, tried something, tried something, but it wasn't really, it wasn't hidden how, how, it, how it needs to be, right? So I feel like you're starting to apply this wisdom. You're learning, all right? What really makes me feel fulfilled here, Capricorn? Yes, the one thousand percent. And as we end off this reading, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know where you're tuning in from. Very interesting. I love to know where all my guys are tuning in from. All my peeps are tuning in from. The community is beautiful, and I love how this channel has been growing. And Capricorn, there's some wise energy for you here. There's some expansive energy for you. Embrace it, right? Embrace the change wholeheartedly. Have compassion for the situation that you're in. Have compassion for yourself. Do not be too hard on yourself, your ways of thinking right now. It's all a learning process, right? You're all in this world to learn, to overcome, to achieve. And I know you may have wanted to achieve. You know, this nine of, this nine of, this nine of uh, wands, some of you've been trying to achieve, right? That's been putting in the work, been putting in my action right here. You're almost there, keep going, right? It's time for you to apply some meaning and reasoning, some wisdom. Be a little bit more receptive right now, Capricorn. Observe, observant of yourself, your actions, your thoughts, right? And make sure they're all in alignment with integrity, with displeasure, with what you want to give birth to, this Empress energy, right? It's creativity. Right, what you, is what you're doing in alignment with this? Or is it opposing it, right? Because if it's opposing it, you're distancing yourself from your manifestation, right? Your thoughts, your feelings, your actions. TFA has to be in alignment so you can see these options, so you can expand within yourself as an individual. This Leo card, Leo energy, right? You can step the stage in the right ways that are harmonic, that's pleasurable for you. You can start feeling fulfilled within your status. Yes. Thank you, Capricorn. As I always say, you guys are the most important part of the reading. I appreciate all my viewers. Comment down below, let me know what you're tuning in from. Be back again soon. Every Saturday, Capricorn readings. Pop in again, you know, pop in daily. You know, check your sun when ascendant. Get the full grasp here of the situation, full perspective. Um, we'll be here again, you know, tap in with me again. And we'll see where the situation goes for you, Capricorn. I'm Mohamalaya, thank you. MC333, we out.